Hey guys, what is up? It is your friendly neighborhood. Ubu's here, back again with another Isaac Brig run. And this time we're gonna start with Ludovico technique. The Ludovi Ludovico Lud Ludovico Ludovico The Ludovico technique. I'm gonna reroll that. That's pretty good. Um, I love this item, and also uh, I really just I haven't done a Ludovico run in so long, and uh, it was beginning to get to the point of resetting for a first item where um, I just wanted to give up. <laughs> sometimes it just takes so goddamn long and sometimes you just see far too many Loki's horns to even give, give a shit anymore. You know? You feel? You feel me? Alright, maybe I can get this one? No. Alright. Still got some coins out of it, that's alright. Shoot the poop poop. So I saw uh, a video yesterday um, by this guy, Chris Stuckman, on YouTube. Um, I've known about his videos for quite a while, and I've watched them before, but I never saw this one. Um, it's a video where he basically, I mean, he analyzes Signs, the, mo the movie Signs, which is one of the few Shyamalan movies post Sixth Sense that um, I actually enjoyed. And like, I don't know, my opinion on Signs has like shifted a lot, right? Like it just, it's a continual sort of back and forth thing. Where, like, sometimes I love it, sometimes I hate it, sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't really give a shit about it. It just doesn't exist anymore to me. Um, but it was cool. He analyzed it, and there, I mean, he didn't really refute a lot of the dumb shit in the movie. Um, but he did, he did give some meaning to some things that I didn't really think had meaning, at least the way that he described it. I don't know if that's, you know, the way Shyamalan intended any, oh, whoops any of it, um, I don't fucking know, maybe, yeah, it's possible, but, anyway, uh, what was interesting was his take on the, the final scene, the, the twist ending, where these aliens that are invading Earth happen to, you know, die if they come in contact with water, it's like, horrible, flesh-eating acid to them, and most people, I can, I think I can say that with a good amount of certainty. Most people um, think that that twist ending is pretty fucking stupid. Because why would they be invading a planet that the surface is, you know, 70% covered in this horrible flesh-eating acid? You know, why would, why would they do that? Well, the answer that, that Chris Stuckman gave was they didn't know, right? Because the entire movie takes place over three days, right? That much is certain. Takes place over three days, and on day one, that's when the invasion actually, like, starts. And even on that day, the aliens were like, you know, oh, I don't know, I don't know about this, because there's the, the clip of the one that walks past uh, in, in South America, right? Where... It walks past the camera, and everybody freaks out, and Meryl's like, Oh, God! And then he has, like, this hilariously bad uh, <laughs> freak-out moment. Um, so that, that was day one, right? And if you look at that clip, you can see that the alien wasn't, like, you know, being angry and, like, chasing people and, like, Argh, I'm gonna kill you. It was fucking scared, right? It was... It wasn't, like, going out of its way to fucking scare the shit out of people, and it was doing this shit to be, like, antagonizing. It literally was, like, fucking waiting in the brushes, and then was, like, you know, after, after observing for a bit, then it moved, right? So the aliens were hesitant the whole time, right? At least, mo most likely. I mean, that's... That's, I, I would agree, hey, what am I doing? Um, I would agree that they seemed hesitant most of the time. And, like, 
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a reasonable point, is that... Oh, nice. Okay, alright, let's hit this one that I tried to hit four times, thanks. Really wish I hit that one before one of the other two, so I didn't have to fight. <laughs> Alright, um... So yeah, the entire thing takes place over three days. Day one, the beginning of the invasion, the, the recon, essentially, right? Day two, shit's going kind of down, right? This is probably when they really realize, holy fuck, this planet's covered in water, holy shit, we need to get the fuck out. And then day three, they do get the fuck out, and they leave their injured, right? They weren't coming to antagonize the earth or to murder millions of people and conquer the earth they literally showed up because they want I guess they wanted to harvest people which was you know exposition via dialogue which is a horrible thing to do and that's that's one of the things that no matter how much you try and uh, elaborate on it it's just lazy writing and that is the thing that Shyamalan did a lot in signs but um, you, the guy is like, you know, oh, they're not trying to conquer Earth, they're trying to harvest us, on the news, because he's getting, like, interviewed because his family got stolen or something by aliens. Um, like, that happens, right? And so it's very clear their motives. And I think, honestly, I, after, after watching that video, I actually do kind of think that the twist ending makes a lot more sense now, to me at least. You, you may still disagree, but I think I think it makes enough reasonable sense. I don't, I don't think it's a... I don't know. I don't think it's a horrible, horrible thing. Because, like, here's the other thing, right? Imagine once we create... Or once we, once we figure out, once we perfect interstellar travel, right? And, you know, we're human, so we're gonna fucking... We're gonna try and conquer shit, because we're fucking stupid idiots. And I'm not saying, like, we're gonna discover interstellar travel, and then the first thing we do is we're gonna fucking, like, go to some some alien planet and be like, yo, bitches, give us your planet. But, like, you know, some, some amount of years down the line, after interstellar travel is created and perfected, yeah, I guarantee you we're gonna fucking be like, hey, bitches, give us your planet. Right? Like, or, I mean, we're humans, right? Whatever. Um... And when that happens, right, I can imagine us going to a planet, right, being like, oh, fuck, right, this planet's covered in this fucking chemical that doesn't exist where we live. You know, it's not, it, it doesn't exist on Earth or any of the other planets that we found, right? This, this thing that's fucking, it literally kills us, we, we couldn't have known what it was, right? And I imagine that's what these aliens, that's the experience that these aliens had when they came to Earth. They didn't know, like, alright, so we're going to this planet that's covered in this thing called water and it's acid to us, alright? Are we good? Everybody briefed? No, it's probably just like, we're going to this fucking planet. We're gonna take these people, they're interesting to us, we wanna, we wanna study them. And, uh, and then they get there, and then it's a, uh, oh fuck! Let's get the fuck out, and then they get the fuck out, right? Because it was three days, you know? If if the aliens were trying to invade the planet, right, and that was just, like, their sole goal, and, like, you know, it, it's, like, War of the Worlds type shit, they wouldn't have left after three days, kidding me? They'd fucking still be there here, I guess, today, right? Like, that would be, that would be the case. So, you know what? That that video actually changed my mind about science quite a bit. And I'm happy it did. Because I actually fairly... I, I do enjoy science. But, uh, that doesn't forgive... What the fuck was that? Excuse me? No. Excuse me. Pardon me? What the f fuck? You saw that, right? I, I'm not the only person who saw that. If you didn't see that, rewind a second. You saw that? That was crazy, right? He had, like, rubber cement. That was fucking weird. Anyway. Um, yeah, like, science still has a lot of flaws. Don't get me wrong. The movie's far from perfect, but... At the very least, that video changed my mind on the ending twist that everybody loves to shit on so bad, including myself. But exposition via dialogue is really just a thing that needs to stop.
<laughs> in general. That's, it's one of the worst mistakes you can make when writing a movie. Because it's not, it, don't get me wrong, it's not easy to have exposition without having your, like, in a, in a subtle way, right? It's not easy to, like, just have it, like, a, be an offhand comment or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take this, otherwise I'm gonna fucking die and I don't want that. And this, and this, and we're done skis. Alright. And, like, you know, exposition via dialogue is still okay sometimes, but, you know, when... When the exposition comes from a news program that's on in the background that your one of your main characters is watching, right? And instead of it, you know, it being like clear like a news program would be, it's very wishy-washy, vague bullshit to like allude to a thing, right? Because if you know, if if aliens are invading planet Earth, right, and they're trying to harvest people. Your news story isn't going to be, turns out people in South America found a way to fight it. <laughs> That's not your news story. You're going to be like, shit, dude, water, right? And I said that before, but, I mean, I stand by it. That's, you know, there's not going to be this, like, super vague thing, you know? You're going to be pretty clear, hey, Earth, humans, dudes, broskies, um... So you know these things that are harvesting us? That are that are stealing us? Yeah, well they die to water, so just grab like a cup of water and splash it on them and then they go away. You know? <laughs> You're not gonna find out somewhere in South America that they found out how to fight it without learning they used water, right? That doesn't make sense. That's not how fucking anything works. If you know that they can fight it, that they found a way to fight it, you're gonna know how they did it. But whatever. And then, obviously, Shyamalan's character uh, is also quite guilty of exposition via dialogue, specifically the water thing. Because he's like, fucking Shyamalan's character literally says, they don't like water. Right? And, like, that's a little bit more excusable than the fucking news being like, people somewhere found a way to maybe fight it or something. Being like, oh, it doesn't seem like they like water. That's still better, but it's not good. <laughs> but, whatever. I think Science is an okay movie. It's, like, fine. It's not great, but it's, it's alright. It's alright. I wish it was better. Oh well. I'm actually like, I don't know, I have these like, um, moments where I get super fucking invested in the idea of watching more movies. And like, I'm, I'm currently at that point right now, so I think what I'm gonna do is watch a bunch of fucking movies after I record this episode. <laughs> One movie that I want to see, um, that I didn't even know about until fairly recently, is the movie Only God Forgives. And it sounds like it's probably some horrible fucking religious stupid thing like, uh, what is it, God's Not Dead, that movie? I never saw it, but I'm assuming it's awful. Apparently most people who are religious thought God's Not Dead was a fucking horrible movie. So I can't imagine how I would see it. <laughs> um, but, you know, I that the name makes me think of that sort of thing, right? Turns out, it's actually by the same uh, guy behind Drive with Ryan Gosling, the, the main actor in Drive, doing another movie where Ryan Gosling has no lines. And that's interesting to me. It seems interesting to me. So I'm probably gonna watch it. I do actually really like how few lines there are in Drive, though. That is definitely one of the strongest points in the movie. Is that there is... I mean, there, there is dialogue in Drive. And in fact, there, there is quite a bit. But, 
actual lines from driver in drive are like fuck dude I don't even know like probably a minute total if you literally just ran it fucking back to back every line he says in the film it's probably would be like a minute total that's an exaggeration but I mean there's very few lines he has a very 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 limited amount of lines and I like that you don't need all this exposition via dialogue or you know George Lucas-esque explaining your feelings through dialogue just give me some good old acting and then we're good I'm trying to hit this tap it there we go fuck that was so difficult <laughs> No. Sure. It's not great, but yeah, it's alright. That wasn't really the item I was looking for. I really wanted, like, Black Lotus or something, but eh, whatever. You know what? That's fine. Let's just take Mini Mush. <clears throat> it's not great, but I, I don't really mind um, too much. I will take Hive Mind. That seems good. Obviously, by the key. Uh, don't really need to buy the spirit heart. Don't need to buy anything else. So let's go. All right, we're gonna we're gonna grab some coinage. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, I'm probably gonna watch only God forgives. I still need to watch 2001: Space Odyssey. I'm a horrible person for still not seeing that movie. I mean, not really, but it, it upsets me that I haven't seen 2001 yet. And the problem is, every time that I try to start watching it, I, I don't know, like my, I don't have ADD as far as I can tell. I mean, I might, I don't know. I am, I am part of the, the ADHD generation. But, um, like, I just can't focus on it you know I have no idea why either it's there's no real reason for it it's just like 2001 it's just I guess it's slow it's just slow and that's not bad well it can be it's not a good thing <laughs> but I mean you know that's not gonna completely ruin the movie for me presumably <clears throat> the problem is because it's slow it's just for me, it's just harder to get into. I need to I need to just sit down and commit. And no matter how fucking bored I get, I need to watch it. And then I'm gonna hate it. It'll be great. I actually wanted that dark bomb. Sack of shit. Can I not get red chests once, please? That'd be awesome. Like red chests are uh, not really what I'm looking for here. I'm not looking for that either. Dum 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 dum. Well, I can go into the curse room. Let's do that now, actually. I don't think there'll be enough rooms to get another reroll. Fuck off. All right, that's fine. Uh, I will check first, though, by going down here. Nope. All right. Blech, blech. Speed up is pretty good. Uh, at the very least, I should check what's in this room. That's one thing that I really need to work on is I need to actually check these rooms when they're open. Yeah. Like, why would I not do this? <laughs> you know? There's no real reason. Oh, so yesterday... I, um, God, first of all, I think I, I talked about how much I hate moving shit. <laughs> like, I mean, specifically at that point, it was a toilet, right? And I hate moving heavy shit, even if I'm not the only one doing it, because I'm, I'm not in most cases, because shit's way too goddamn heavy. Um, 
but I just hate moving shit. It's just super obnoxious, and I don't know. I hate it. Um, but yesterday, I helped my dad move our TV cabinet. Um, because my parents hate the way it looks, and we've had it for a long time, and it's huge. And when I say huge, I mean gigantic. Probably around 500 pounds total. It's in two halves, fortunately. Um, so, not... Oh, fuck off, man. I'm not even taking it. I don't, I don't even want it. Um, it's in two halves, so easier to move than if it was just one gigantic, like, 500-pound monster. It might even be more than 500 pounds. I'm not sure. It was just really heavy, and it sucked, and I fucking hate it. But the worst part was, right, when we began moving it, you know, my my mom was like, hey, can I help? And we're like, yeah, sure. Um, but, you know, she didn't, she didn't help by lifting. And what she instead did was, it was very obnoxious to me. Um, because she, basically, I was the one going backwards out the house. And this thing, the, the clearance it had on every door in the house was, like, pretty pretty limited. <laughs> it, it maybe had like a couple inches of clearance. Um, so it was tough. We were bumping into stuff, right? And like every time that we bumped into something, my mom just had this like, I don't know, panicky freak out moment. And it really upset me. Because, right, th that that's not helpful. I don't know if you've ever moved something and had somebody like over your shoulder be like, D -d 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 wait! But it's, it's not, it doesn't help. <laughs> um, and it was very obnoxious. And I love my mom, and she's awesome, but, I don't know, I, like, I got, I got very upset. And, uh, and then she got, she felt like, I don't know. I got upset because her panicking in, in a situation where we're lugging something that's like, you know, at the very least, twice my weight, <laughs> right? Um, and she's panicking. That's that's. In fact, that's just harming us. So, and uh, you know, while we're lifting, I can't like take a moment to pause and be like, "Hey, excuse me. Can you? This isn't very helpful. I'm gonna need you to to not. Can't really do that. I, so it was more of just like a, please stop. And then. You know, she got upset because I told her to stop freaking out. wasn't wasn't nice. It wasn't great. I don't know. I hate shit like that. Like it made me feel bad. But like, fuck, man. I don't know. Um, shit. What is this? It's just like spirit hearts and shit. Yeah, fuck that. I don't know. It's like the the thing is in situations like that where you're lifting something that is gigantic and super heavy right and you're you're lifting it with somebody else the important thing is that you communicate right the two of you need to be in communication and need to be on the same page so if something needs to change you can change it on the fly and uh, you know you don't drop it and crush somebody's hand for example what you don't need is somebody going wait wait wait, wait. no 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 that's not helpful. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm pretty much fucking, like, straight done lifting shit. <laughs> I just, I never want to do it ever again. Like, furniture. It's just, it gets worse and worse every time I do it. <laughs> Alright, please, for the love of God, give me a fucking thing. You know what, Krampus? You'll do. You'll do, Crample Poo. I'm gonna cheese him. Just a little bit. Nice, that's coal. Which is what I want. I'm gonna actually blow up all this fire now that we've got the double pyres. There we go. And now we can cheese. But yeah, I'm fucking, like, it... it in the future, if anybody asks me to fucking move something, I'm gonna be like, no. <laughs> no. 
That's no. Sorry, but no. This is why I wish I wasn't like I'm not strong by any means. I don't like lift or anything. But I'm also not like weak. Like I can I can lift fairly heavy stuff. I struggle, but at least I can lift it. And as I wish I just actually was just like nothing but skin and bone. With no goddamn muscle at all. So I couldn't even lift anything, so I'd have a good excuse. <laughs> but as it is, if I say no, it'd be like, oh come on! What the heck? I don't know who that's an impression of, but it seems accurate to me. I don't know, the worst thing about lifting that stupid gigantic cabinet is the not only the fact that it's like... I mean, it, it literally was the heaviest thing I have ever thought... Like, I, I've ever attempted to lift in any way, right? I would say it's like the heaviest thing I could imagine, but, I mean, cars are heavier. <laughs> I can imagine cars pretty easily. Um, but obviously you don't lift cars. But... Yeah, that thing was gigantic and heavy, but honestly, just the worst part about it is the fact that the underside of both halves, the top and the bottom half, the underside was just awful, right? The top half, it was it was a fairly flat underside. It wasn't very recessed, um, and it was sharp, right? Because this thing is just wood, and, you know, it's been in that room for, like, I don't know, a, a year count, maybe 10 years, probably longer, I'm not sure. But like, you know, some of the, some of the wood is kind of like slightly, slightly chipped in a way, and uh, it's just a mess. And holding that with bare hands made me want to just fucking die. And then the bottom was incredibly recessed, and the, the ridge was, <laughs> the ridge was so fucking tiny <laughs> like um, and what I mean by recessed is it's like uh, yes let's see I am taking Abaddon so let's oh wait shit whoops yeah this might not work um well I'm just gonna take it all oh, whatever fuck it doesn't matter I'm guppy I'm Gucci Uh, let's take you first, then you, you, you. Alright. But, yeah, so it's like, imagine just a cardboard box, right? With the, the top off of it. Like, there's, there's nothing on top of this cardboard box. Um, so it's just, you know, it's, it's five sides, right? But now imagine that the bottom is like raised up towards the top, right? I'm trying to think if that's a good way to describe it. Probably not, whatever. You know what recessed means. Basically there's like, on the bottom, there's just an extra ridge, right? That's essentially what a good way to think about it. Um, fuck off with the double golden chests. I don't want to open them. Fuck off. But yeah, so the ridge on the, the recessed bottom was, like, thinner than one of my fingers, <laughs> right? Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to hold on to something that's super tiny and made of wood, but holy shit, man. It doesn't feel good on your hands. In fact, it's like... It's trying to, like, hold a knife by the blade, basically. It's really awful. Alright, uh, let's see what we got in here first. Oh, Jesus Christ. I, I kind of want the mom's knife, because it's just cool. But nah, let's do the smart thing. 
Um, okay. I want both. I think I fucked up. That feels too late. Let's try. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> pa pardon me, Isaac? Are you... Are you okay? <laughs> that was so weird. It's so funny, though. Holy shit. That was great. Oh yeah, but the worst thing was we had to we had to lift it all the way out to the garage, right? And not only that, but we lifted it out to the garage, and then my dad was like, "Well, we're gonna sell this on Craigslist, so let's let's assemble it, because we're not selling them in in pieces. We're gonna sell it all as one." And so I was like, "Okay, well, let's assemble it in the garage," and he's like, "Well, no, because I want I want it on a more neutral background, so we're gonna." We're gonna move the car, and we're gonna put it out on the garage, or on the, sorry, on the driveway, in front of the garage. We're gonna assemble it there, and it'll take pictures, and then we'll move it back in. And I'm like, okay, so we have to fucking move this thing, like, seven times. Okay, great. Awesome. Sweet. Nice. Cool. And then we did. And I hated every second of it. It just sucks. It fucking blows, man. This is why I can't wait for, you know, the future. <laughs> I just despise... Um, I'm also realizing that because I picked up the key thing and then exit, I didn't get the keys. They didn't drop. That's great. Cool. Um, wow, that's actually fucking stupid. But I can't wait for the future where literally everything forever is super lightweight. And, uh, you don't have to lift anything. It'll be great. We're, like, almost there. Until then, though. Fucking fuck, man. Why does shit have to be so heavy? Good. Glad I didn't open those. Meet strangers without prejudice. I agree. I fucking totally agree. Meet fucking strangers without prejudice is the, the correct way to live life. Nah, but seriously, if you have prejudice about any group of people, and you're fucking dumb. Sorry. <laughs> uh, give me that shit. So how do we have Gimpy here? I'm gonna need somebody to explain this to me. I re-rolled Gimpy on floor one. I am 100% certain about that. You saw it. Got re-rolled. <clears throat> it was in the curse room. Normally when I, I think about something like that, like, Oh, I thought I, I saw this this run. It's like, you know, maybe I'm just mixing it up with all the other runs, because I do minimum one per day. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's possible that I'm just mistaking it. In fact, most of the time I, I see, like, you know, hundreds of items in a single day <laughs> because of the amount of resetting it takes. So, you know, I, I understand that normally I can get a little bit confused and I can lose track, but in this situation, I'm 100% certain. It's not even a question whether or not I saw Gimpy this wrong, because I did. But for some reason it showed up again. That is weird. Sure. Almost sounded like I was making a song there with the fire explosions. Hey, I found the boss. That's cool. Alright. Ah! Bah! Blair! Alright. I'm getting my rerolls on, man. This is this is the reroll parade. They're not great. The rerolls aren't great. 
It's all right though. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, I lost Horror Babylon, but that's pretty bad actually, right? Yeah, losing losing 1.5 damage for to get. I think I'm pretty sure SMB Super Fan is 0.5 damage. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> There's just no way around it, it's just bad. And then the speed up is also less than Horror Babylon speed up. Not like it mattered, I'm, I mean, like, I'm at what I assume is a speed cap. Because I my speed hasn't changed. I hate when there's a red heart in the room, Dark Bomb just takes longer. It's fucking dumb. He just moves way slower when there's a red heart, even if he's, like, not going towards it. He might actually just move the same speed no matter what. <coughs> I'm just actually watching his speed when there's red hearts in the room. Hard to say. Why did I... Eh, whatever. It's not like there's gonna be another reroll. This is my last reroll. There's no way there's enough rooms left. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah, let's grab this, cause fuck it. Let's fuck it. And we're, we're good. We're Gucci. We, we good. He's dead. He, he fucking died. I really like the way this tier looks, actually. That's really cool. Why do I like this so much? This is just cool looking. I love it. There's like two frames. No, there's three frames of animation. Maybe there's two. It actually, it looks like there's two. Right? Here, let me... It looks like the first and the, the third burst are on the same frame. And then the second and fourth are on the same frame. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Can't really tell. It's fucking difficult. Alright, I'm a human. Okay? Alright? I'm a human. I promise. I'm not a robot. I'm a human. Believe me, I'm a human. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that run. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all that good shit, and I will see you guys tomorrow for another breaking run. Also, get hyped, because, um, you know, I mean, it's like Friday when Afterbirth comes out. Friday. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, look, look forward to that shit. Um, and uh, with that, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.